This is Mini Sumo Category Robot. Mini Sumo competitions are held all around the world, in Japan, Mexico or in Latvia. There is 77 centimeters big ring, you put two robots and then they fight as a real sumo wrestlers. The main restrictions for competition is that sumo robot is 10 to 10 centimeters in dimensions and the weight is limited by 500 grams. To gain more stability, uh, we have added this plate, which is made uh, from stainless steel. It has a very big density, so it means we achieve almost the maximum allowed weight of 500 grams by using this. Of course, if you want to achieve like more acceleration, more speed, but less traction and less power, you can remove this. This is because of strategies you choose. You can be fast, aggressive, you can be slow and powerful. This is your choice. So actually you need very stiff and very sharp knife, uh, which now is made from tempered spring steel and it also allows robot to fit the surface very perfectly. And for this robot body we have chosen anodized aluminium which allows us to protect robot from scratches and also it perfectly reflects uh, infrared sensor light from opponent and opponent cannot see you. For programmer this platform is quite an interesting thing because you have five infrared sensors which are placed to locate the opponent and you also have three infrared line sensors uh, for robot to see where is the borderline of the ring. You make several programs like three, five, seven and they are different. So if you have an aggressive opponent you may be also aggressive or you can try to hide and those programs you can switch with those small switches so and you do it actually before the fight and the opponent doesn't know what you choose when you decide to build a sumo robot you have a lot of challenges some of them are technical you have to assemble motors controllers sensors in the body and you have also some electrical challenges you have to uh, learn how to solder and how to program so actually it means you have to uh, be able to cover three big fields which is electronics, mechanics and programming. And basically this is the biggest challenge how to fit all these knowledge in so small robot.